Hello friends, this video on evolution part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so the question now is how did life originate? So how the first life came on the earth? Because we all live on the planet earth. So how did all these living organisms Okay, even if we say that, okay, we were not the first one to come, but who was the first one to come and how did that life originate? Now, even before we talk about how life originated, we should also know about how the earth came into being. When was the earth created? And the earth, again, in turn is located and this is a part of the universe. So how the universe was created? So we will start the story from there, a very old story, how the universe was created and then inside the universe we had so many stars, we had the galaxies, we had the planets, now all those things got created, then we had earth, so earth got created and then the life forms came up on inside the earth. So we will talk about each of them step by step. So first we will talk about the origin of the universe, so when was the universe created? So, Big Bang Theory is the one which explains the origin of universe. Now, when you think of the universe, it is so huge that in front of the universe, Earth is just like a tiny spot in the universe. Earth is that small. But for us, Earth seems to be so big because inside the Earth, you have, again, so many things, right? So, now, what happened in the Big Bang Theory? What was this Big Bang Theory all about? So the entire universe which we see today as a huge thing. So universe is extremely huge because inside the universe we have millions of stars and again we have so many planets. In fact one planet like Earth which is amongst the smallest planets that itself is so big. So you can actually imagine the size of the universe. But actually this huge universe was once an infinitely hot and dense and infinitesimally small entity. So it was like a dense but a very very small or a very very tiny ball kind of a thing. But then what happened that that tiny ball turned so big. Now about 13.8 billion years ago, so now this data is, uh, I mean it is an approximate data. Some say it's um, 14 billion years ago, some say 20 billion years ago. So somewhere around this time what happened was the universe started to expand. It, it did not explode but it expanded it like how a balloon expands. What happens when you buy a small balloon? which has not been inflated yet and if you try to inflate it what happens it starts to expand so the space inside the balloon increases its volume increases so the same thing happened with the universe the universe was earlier a very very tiny ball like structure but as it started expanding that ball be started becoming very big and it kept on expanding to the size as you see it now so just imagine from that tiny size it expanded till this size and what happened as the expansion began now earlier it was like a very small ball with a lot of heat inside it and that is why it had it was infinitely hot and dense so the temperature was extremely high inside that small ball but as the ball started to expand what happened that heat inside also started to get distributed and as a result the overall temperature inside the universe started coming down now as the expansion began the temperature started to reduce and as the temperature started to reduce the temperature started becoming suitable for the existence of life forms However, life forms doesn't exist everywhere inside the universe. There are only specific places. For example, Earth is one such planet where life exists. Other than that, we are not very sure of other planets where life exists, but at least on Earth, life exists. And for life to be existing, the temperature has to be very much appropriate. Now, initially, when the universe was so much hot, it, it was impossible for life to exist. But as it expanded, gradually the temperature started to come down. And then the, this small ball, which was expanding and became so big, it enclosed several stars, galaxies, planets, and there were life forms. In, inside these planets. So it got bigger as it expanded, it got bigger and it also got cooler. 
Now, as this process of expansion continued, uh, there were several gases and several molecules which started forming. Now, as expansion continued, first of all, formation of hydrogen and helium gas took place. So, these gases started forming. Then gradually galaxies were formed. Now, how were the galaxies formed? These gases which were getting formed, they started to condense under the gravitational attraction and as a result, this condensation of gases gave rise to the formation of galaxies and that is how galaxies were formed. So what are galaxies? Galaxies are nothing but a collection of stars. Too many stars together form the galaxies. Now, when was the formation Earth had taken place? So, Earth was formed around 4.5 billion years back. So, 4.5 billion years back. I'm sorry, I forgot to write the billion. So, when I say billion, you mean, you know what, right? Billion is like 10 to the power 9. So, around 4.5 billion years back earth was formed and where was earth located earth was located in the milky way galaxy so milky way galaxy consisted of the solar system so which we all study since our junior classes in the solar system you have the nine planets and you have the sun as the star so that, that's about the solar system and the solar system is also located in the milky way galaxy so, Earth was formed around 4.5 billion years back and now we have to see that how different life forms were formed on Earth. So, here you can see, in this picture you can actually see that initially when the universe had not expanded completely, it was very small, tiny, but it had a lot of heat within it. So, it was extremely hot and dense. But gradually as it started to expand, as you can see the expansion here, what happened? The temperature got reduced and the size expanded or the size increased. And with that, so many different uh, things started to form like the galaxies, the planets, the stars, etc. So all these things, formation started taking place. So now let us talk about the early earth. Now when the earth was formed some 4.5 billion years ago, how was the earth? Was it the way it is now? So let us look at the conditions which were there on the early earth. So was it the same like how we see it today? Well, no it was not. First of all, as soon as the earth was formed, it was not that immediately life form started existing on the earth. It was not like that. So initially there was no atmosphere on the earth. So there was no atmosphere. So that itself is so unbelievable. So what was there on earth? So let us quickly have a look. As I said, earth was formed approximately 4.5 billion years back, a long time. There was no atmosphere at that time. So today we have atmosphere that too, which is divided into specific layers like troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, exosphere and so on. So one layer you have all the ions and then one layer is the where, where cloud formation etc take place. So full uh, the entire atmosphere and that too into distinct layers is present today. But that time there was no atmosphere at all. So all that was present in early earth were water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia. So these were the gases which were present that time. Ammonia, carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor. Now all these were released from the molten mass which covered the earth's surface. So the earth's surface was all covered by these gases and water vapor. Now also ozone layer formation also started taking place gradually. So what happened was oceans also formed. Now how all these formations started taking place because ozone was not there at that time. In fact water vapor was present but water was not there. So how all these things was taking place. Now the sun was present that time. So the sun's rays were coming or falling on the earth. Now the ultraviolet rays from the sun they helped to convert this water vapor into hydrogen and oxygen. Now hydrogen being lighter than oxygen it escaped whereas the oxygen Oxygen was used to, you, oxygen combined with all these like carbon dioxide or 
the ammonia, the methane and the ammonia and it formed different gases like carbon dioxide and water. So all these were formed. Something like this. So in presence of the ultraviolet rays of the sun, the water got split into hydrogen and oxygen. Now this hydrogen being lighter, this hydrogen gas escaped. What happened to the oxygen? This oxygen started combining with all these like ammonia, methane. So it started combining with gases like ammonia and methane and as a result of all these what was formed water was formed as well as carbon dioxide was also formed so all these molecules were being formed and also it was seen that when the temperature increased a bit the water vapor which was present on the uh, earth those water vapor melted and as a result the water where did the water go so the water vapor melted and the water fell in the form of rain and this rain water they actually started filling up all the cavities on the earth's surface and they are what we know as oceans today so that is how oceans were formed so you would have observed that let us suppose if, if there is a plain surface now in middle of that plain surface if you have a small cavity somewhere so what happens if, if you uh, uh, fell water in that region so first of all that cavity will get filled with water right so in a very similar way wherever there were cavities or there were uh, like little bit of whether it is very deep or not wherever cavities were there the rain water filled those spaces and that is they became to be known as oceans so this is how the early earth looked like now when did life appear in the earth so life appeared around 4, 4 billion years back. So if you see earth was formed around 4.5 billion years back but life was seen on earth only 4 billion years back. That means there is a difference of 0.5 billion years. So 0.5 billion years was being spent in the formation of water, in the formation of oxygen, in the formation of carbon dioxide because all these things are required for sustenance of life because if you see all living organisms whether plant or animal they all need oxygen carbon dioxide uh, water so all these things are basic requirement for any form of life so in these 0.5 billion years all this setup was done and then then started appearing the simplest form of life so let us talk about how those life forms thank you Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.